In round 18 of the New South Wales Premier League, 2009 grand final winners Sutherland Sharks were at home to Sydney United. The Sharks had lost two of their previous three matches after a six-game unbeaten run. And just before the kickoff, Ben Spruce was acknowledged for his 100th appearance with the club. The locals' intentions were very clear as experienced midfielder Jim Backus tested United keeper Vedran Janjetovic. But it was the second place Sydney United who took the lead as Medijan Pavlovic set up El Cid Bakhusir. United player coach David Zdrilic would have been pleased with the 11th minute breakthrough, considering key players like Timpano, Zorbis and Thompson were sidelined. Sutherland didn't have to wait too long to equalise. In the 21st minute, a penalty was awarded for handball and Backer stepped up to complete the formalities. If there was one player who dominated proceedings, it was Jim Backus. In the 61st minute, Sydney United took the lead for the second time, as Miriam Pavlovich took advantage of an uncharacteristic mistake from Michael Robinson to score his sixth goal of the season. Sutherland's new signing, Paul Kohler, responded just three minutes later. In the 65th minute, Scottish import Stephen McConnellogue delivered one of the best solo runs of the match. It was a constant barrage of pressure from the Sharks. With just six minutes remaining, Sutherland finally equalised after securing a controversial free kick. Backers played the role of provider and Chris Price did the rest. 2-2 it was, David's Drillich was not impressed and was shown a straight red card for offensive language after being on the pitch for just three minutes. In the 88th minute, the Sharks almost avenged the 3-1 drubbing at United in round seven, but it wasn't to be. The final score, Sutherland Sharks two, Sydney United two. Yeah, win or lose, mate, the boys, are, the boys are sensational. You know, the morale's great here in the Shire, so, mate, uh, yeah, we, uh, that's why we always uh, do well, you know. last three seasons have been great. Good to see both teams play quite tactical, actually, which is uh, quite hard to think uh, at this level they could do it, but it was quite good. Um, some good young players, good mo movement of the ball, that uh, was good. Meantime, competition leaders Bonnie Rig White Eagles had the chance to extend their lead at the top to five points if they could overcome Blacktown City, who suffered a shock midweek loss in the semis of the McDonald's Cup. In the 81st minute, a perfect cross from Jamie McMaster found Melbourne victory striker Nathan Alassi and the White Eagles were up 1-0. The three points were secured in the 89th minute. Alassi set up 2009 Player of the Year Brad Boardman to seal a 2-0 victory. Those vital three points now sees Bonnie Rig White Eagles establish a five-point buffer on Sydney United and Marconi, with the Stallions having drawn 2-2 at home to Bankstown City. The top five remain the same, while Apia has climbed two places after winning 2-0 at Sydney Olympic. For more information about the New South Wales Premier League, log on to nswpl.com.au.